Shooting Club. Triple kill. When you when you move to Michigan, you should definitely bring the televisions on the airplane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your, your, your carry-on is just two flat-screen televisions. <laughs> One under your arm, and then you trying to set it up into, like, the plug in front of the scene. You know? <laughs> ah, damn, dude. How big are they? Big. Uh, like, like a, I got a 55 and a 63 or something like that. Yeah, they'll let you bring that on. Yeah. I'll say the you 63 know. I'll probably store above, but the 55 you'll have to put underneath your seat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I get if I get two seats, I'll just set it up in the aisle, kick back. <laughs> I got good fellas on 4K. It's all good, dude. Uh, I I love I love all the the videos from New York City of uh people moving and they're taking the subway, so they're like loading refrigerators and stoves and shit onto the subway train. <laughs> That's got to be, like, the most insufferable moving ever. Like, I can't even fucking imagine. I've moved too many times in my life to ever be doing something like that ever. Oh, if I had to move in a big city like that, I would just leave whatever I had behind and fucking, yeah. you know, just start start new, get some new shit. Maybe just bring, like, the my, my, my desktop computer. That's about it. <laughs> That's the got, game plan. When I got back from Texas, I got a backpack with um with a copy of Near Dark on VHS. Nice. Um, Born Standing Up by Steve Martin, you know, book. Yep. Uh, about a couple of t-shirts, a skateboard, and a light box. And I was leaving. <laughs> and, uh, and Jeff, of his old man, was like, hey, hey, what about all these tools? And he's like carrying like $1,000 worth of tools, you know what I mean? Because we're cleaning out her, uh, her granddaddy's garage, and he resurfaced them and cleaned them all up and stuff. And I'm looking at Chinese car. It's like, you know, the, um, was a charger? Yeah. There's not a whole lot of room. And I'm like, looking at the skateboard in the back <laughs> you know there's not a lot of room in there and he's like well you know uh, and i'm like yeah i, I kind of only have room for the important stuff and he said they're like this is the important stuff <laughs> whatever dude i got back here i haven't bought a tool since bro i haven't bought a, a hammer a screwdriver nothing use a butter knife if you need a screwdriver baby you yeah. didn't take the tools i didn't have room you, you should have, like, mashed those in, like, under your feet in the front seat or something. Believe me, Vinny, if I was sober, I would have known that. I, was I, got, I, like got, I got tools for you, though. I was, Did you I got, drive Texas to Michigan? Mm -hmm. It's a horrific drive. It's yeah, so much fun. Don't listen. 26 hours, baby. 26 hours of joy. I don't, I don't know. I fucking... My voyage to Lubbock, Texas and back to Michigan was fucking nightmarish. But also, <laughs> like, we were traveling in my van. It didn't have air conditioning. And it was uh, like a record, like 115 degrees, like all through the Midwest. So like we didn't have money for a motel or anything. So, you know, we would just pull over in a Motel 6 parking lot to go to sleep. And it was like me, uh, Joey's ex-girlfriend and our two dogs. And it was so hot that I, I thought that one of the dogs or one of us were going to die. We had to, we had to keep taking water bottles out of the cooler and like, just lay him on the bed with us. To, that was the only way we could even get a, like a little hint of coolness. Oh, I remember I, cu I cussed out the lady at the gas station. because I was like, all right, this is fucked up. If I'm going to fall asleep in this van, I need to get fucking really drunk. Mm -hmm. And it was like midnight. So I went over to the store and uh, I was like, all right, let me get these like two tall boys and a pint or whatever. And she's like, uh, this is Missouri. And you can't buy booze after 10 p.m. on a Sunday. And I was like, what did you say, you fucking bitch? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Are you I'm out of your fucking shirt. mind? This is fucking America. <laughs> Last I checked. Last I checked. Oh, that, was, that was horrific, though. The water yeah, bottle probably... trick did work, though. I, I think it did bring down our uh, body temperature quite a bit. You know, mm -hmm. once again, I... I can use this kind of resourcefulness if I were ever to find myself on naked and afraid. You could have just shaved Princess, the pit bull that you're sleeping. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't That's think a that... lot of hair running hot. I guess we could have seen if the, the motel had a pair of buzzers at the front desk. <laughs> hey, I'm staying in room 203. I got a pit bull out here. My old lady's pit bull, man. I got... It's too hot out here. It's going to fucking die. I got to shave this thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
like, uh, welcome to Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Come on in. We went, uh, we went to Mississippi, bro. I think I might have maybe told you all about this before. We went to Mississippi in the dead of July. July. July, Mississippi. July. Ma'am. Lee shit, bro. We went to Starkville, Mississippi, where Johnny Cash got arrested for stealing those flowers he sings about mm-hmm. in the Starkville, Mississippi jail song. Neat. And, uh, I was like, damn, nothing bad could come from this. That's probably all stigma. <laughs> and the whole time, dude, it was just like we were greeted by the pastor when we went out, like when we sat down at the restaurant immediately. Um, I kind of forgot that I had a big old back patch that had this six armed demon on it. It said beer drinkers hell rain. Naughty. And Naughty. Like, and a bunch of tall boys with a switchblade and a bong and shit like that. And I'm like, damn, these motherfuckers are judgmental down here, just like they said. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh yeah. Kind of look like uh, Richard Ramirez walking yeah. in town. Right <laughs> <laughs> like bad teeth, fucking yeah. just chugging soda slurs underneath my breath the entire time against the white face <laughs> you know you, I mean? you probably you probably could have told them that you were a member of the west memphis three and they would have believed you oh fuck i didn't even think of that dude i could have been castrated <laughs> they get crazy down that's a there. good halloween costume dude fucking go <laughs> us three going as the west memphis three keep that oh one keep Keep that one in the back pocket come October. I'm telling yeah. you. <laughs> Holy shit, bro. I was going to gain uh, 80 pounds before winter and go as the crow. Nice. <laughs> like, with no wig. And so just keep like the short top and like eye makeup <laughs> wrapped up in electrical tape. I thought that would be funny, but I think Davian Eccles are the, the smaller. The, I, I mean, let's be honest here, dude. I'd probably be the lame brain. We got the same bone structure. Fair, fair. <laughs> I, or, you know, I really, I mean, it's not cool to say this or nothing. It's not hip or trendy, but I kind of thought the standout star of that movie was the dad that killed all the kids. Not because yeah. he killed the kids, but he had so much personality, dude. Yeah, he, did. he had a lot of fucking charisma yeah. for, like, sucking those little kids' dicks and then killing them. <laughs> yep, leaving the teeth marks on him and then getting a whole new set of veneers. Yeah. And Mississippi's <laughs> like, what's our Memphis like? What's the problem here? I don't, I, I don't see why you would think that he had anything uh, incriminating about him. He just got a brand new set of teeth the second they found the dental records yeah. on the little boy's peckers. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the issue? That being said, that movie would have been boring as sin if it wasn't for two things. The Metallica riff. Bow, 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 bow. And then the daddy, because I mean, <laughs> he was Jethro White, dude. You know what I mean? Uh huh. Fucking rocks, dude. Father of the year. Wow. What's that? What's that fucking movie uh, where the, the the dad buys like ecstasy for all the kids? Did you watch that shit? Ken Park. Is nah, it's like a documentary. Wait, is it? Wait, is it about like a a dad that starts like selling ecstasy with the kids and they go to like a motel and shit? They're like it's ravers. A, yeah, it's, they're, it's like they're like a crew of ravers, and then they bring their dad, and the dad becomes a raver. Yeah. Are we talking yeah. about the same thing? Uh, I'm pretty sure. Because sure. if, if it is, uh, when I was in high school, like instead of like uh, detentions, we had Saturday schools, and the drug counselor would always run it. And uh, he would, like after like three hours, he'd put on a video, and uh, he played that video one time. It was supposed to be like, warning you about the dangers of ecstasy but i thought it was the funniest fucking thing i've ever seen you know because the dad he's got he bleaches his uh he bleaches his hair blonde and starts spiking it with like a visor and shit by the end of the movie and he's just like rolling yeah, we're definitely talking about the same movie awesome i used to, i used <laughs> to request on. that at saturday school and uh, the drug counselor, after like the sixth time of being Mr. Kelman, can we watch watch the ecstasy movie? He like took me in his room to ask me if I was having a problem with drugs. And I said yes, because uh, if you got into his drug program, you got out of class two times a week to just hang out with him, play board games. Mm-hmm. May I say something? Yeah. I think it might have been the vel- velvet acid Christ hoodie that you wore every day. <laughs> <laughs> Added to... Your your love, for yeah. I'm see documentary. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hell of a combo. It's <laughs> like, um, how's a 16 year old boy know about that? They, you know, I mean, <laughs> red flags all around. Send him to the guidance counselor. Might have been the ICP T-shirts too. Mm. A little combo. At what point do we start bringing back visors, like flipped upside down? 
this oh. year, 2020. Lad. Remember last? I've been, I've been it's thinking the, about it. It's the year of the wigger. We're coming back. We're bringing it back <laughs> harder than it's ever been brought. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have kids for the sole purpose of doing ecstasy with them and cheap fucking <laughs> super eight motels. Mm-hmm. True allyship, you know. <laughs> but that dad had a fucking light up pacifier. <laughs> yeah, so good. He's like talking Frosty to his kid. son. <laughs> Do you know what that movie's called? Because I think of small, small town, town ecstasy. <laughs> small town ecstasy. Yeah, it I'm sucks. Like, uh, you know, I didn't have a dad growing up, and then I see dads like that, and I'm like, damn, I really missed out. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been something special. Holy uh, shit! This is it. <laughs> <laughs> no I feel like, fucking way, dude. I feel like I could have fucking like ended. Up, I would have ended up the same exact person I am now if that was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Not too far off. <laughs> wow, I wonder what these. I wonder what his kids are up to. I wonder what he's up to. Oh yeah, he's probably. Well, he's probably not alive. There's like a scene in that movie where he like kisses on this young as fuck girl, <laughs> and it's bad, dude. <laughs> Everything about it is sketchy. And if yeah. I remember right, you know, the mom was really having none of what <laughs> yeah. uh, what daddy was doing with the with the kids in the Super Eight. Oh, wow. Man. That guy Self-assessment for dance drugs. I am you so like- fucking glad we're having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll have to watch it. Yeah, yeah, we Fuck should. Banger. Yeah, oh, we should get beat this. you to the punch. <laughs> I'm over here watching it as we speak. What'd you do? Dude. Find a. What'd you do? Find a YouTube link. I linked it in the chat. Maybe I'd linked it in the Zoom chat. We oh, can all no watch shit. it. <laughs> oh, HBO hour. also did an episode on it on their uh, America Undercover series. Nice. Like about the small town ecstasy documentary, or or is it just about on the there? guy? About the guy, a set, yeah. like a part two, a sequel? I don't know. Is it? I maybe it might have. Maybe they released the movie as America Undercover, but it's an HBO Grammy nom or Emmy nominated. I cannot fucking wait to sit down <laughs> with this. I I was like seventeen the last time I saw this. Fucking stoned <laughs> at Saturday school fucking just losing my fucking mind it was the funniest thing i had ever seen yeah Damn, baby now you're now you're welcome home <laughs> you know what I mean? welcome home in the fila full circle great malenko baby in the it fila. Is full, <laughs> full, this is full, full circle great malenko i'm regressing as a person i'm becoming my 17 year old self everything is gay and deep. retarded again yeah. <laughs> i i i implore all the shooters to do the same exact thing man go back six years you know what I mean? Yeah. Seven years, eight years, ten years. Do Life was so baby. much better in 2008. Absolutely. It's true. Absolutely. C- Dude, if I can watch graduation that, came out. Great oh, well, I mean, that was 2007, shit. but everything was feeling good. Mm-hmm. Saturday, dude. Saturday by Ludacris. Yeah. That was the anthem. If you're in your 30s and you can recapture that feeling of, uh, you know, getting a $100 Lego set, you know, you got you to gotta really chase that. I was uh I was at Target and I I was looking at the Legos like section. I was thinking about buying me a pretty decent set, you know, with this unemployment money the government keeps showering me showering me in. Was it the Ted Kaczynski set? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> you saw that, all, right? Crazy. It was uh it was one of the X Wing uh sets, but there were like two kids and their mom in the aisle with me. And uh, she's like, okay, well, you guys can either have two of the medium Lego sets or you guys can get one of the very big ones. And the kids outright refused the very big set. And I was like, you kids are out of your fucking mind. <laughs> if, like, if I, wa- if I was fucking seven years old and I was given like $150, the big fucking Lego castle to build with my little brother, that would be a defining moment in my entire life. You should have stepped in and said something. You I was, uh, Do you not I, understand your I had, I had the ma- I had the mask on, and I was talking under my breath. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sir, can Man. you stop staring at my children, please? <laughs> <laughs> stop staring daggers at my children? Man, well, when I went to go find retarded. my girlfriend, I was talking loud. I was like, you wouldn't believe these two fucking idiot kids over <laughs> in the Lego aisle. They had everything. They were about to have their fucking old, all their dreams fucking come true. Mm. And they said no. They were bored by it. <laughs> Unbelievable, bro. Unbelievable. Nobody understand. You get that big set, it's uh it's doubled it's double the value. You know Kids what I'm saying? These days, dude. Fucking idiots. It's like when you go to America's America American Tire 
And you got to listen to the xenophobic man who painting all the damn chihuahuas nails. You know, I mean, he bought, he sells you a tire for a hundred bucks that probably has some glass in it. You find out later. <laughs> <down the road. laughs> or you go to discount tire. You know, what I mean, you get the two hundred and fifty dollars set. You're right as rain, baby. You don't got to worry about it for years. <laughs> they replace your tire. That's a beautiful thing about discount tire. I well, shout you're out fucking discount tire. spinning spinning around doing three sixties when it's icy outside. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just figured that, you know, a Lego set would be good for my brain since I'm not really using it in quarantine. Yeah. You know, I'm just kind of like staring at shit and like now I got my like bank account hooked up to Steam and I'm just buying little outfits on Team Fortress 2. I've you been know? leaving your books at the, at the doorstep, but like almost as like a little like, you know, you don't get to keep it forever. <laughs> and then I just go outside and I see them just thrown into the pit every time I'm smoking a cigarette. I'm like, oh, shit, the interpretation of dreams. I, I thought I let that. Oh, man. And then you look over and you're like, oh, no. <laughs> you know? Matthew Walker torn to bits, thrown <laughs> into the grass. The, cra the crackheads are down there ripping the pages out, fucking rolling their own cigarettes. <laughs> I was just talking to Vince Party. Shout out Vince Party. And, uh, and I was, I was uh, bitching about cigarette, like Taylor cigarettes. Um, They're running out of Marlboro 27s at the gas station down the street. And I was like, you, you never realize that like, you know, resources are finite. And he was like, yeah, just start rolling your own. And I was like, ah. and he's like, I mean, I don't, but you know, you could. <laughs> and like, oh, okay. Yeah, rolling, yeah. rolling your own cigarettes sucks dick. The filters, dude, they don't allow anything into them. I don't know if I have to get a more expensive filter or what, but every single time I've smoked it, ugh, I'm just terrible. If, if you, you buy... go filterless, dude. Oh, I used to yeah, smoke you buglers. You know those? Mm -hmm. Cowboy shit. You just got to say fuck it. There was, there was, like, these couple of kids I was partying with in West Virginia who, like, uh, like I lit up one of my cigarettes, like a Marlboro Light, and they were, they were calling me a fucking retard for smoking anything with a filter on it. Like, you know what goes in your lung, man? That's all fiberglass and fucking chemicals. You know what causes cancer? That fucking filter. My granddaddy smoked Paul Mall on filter. 65 years, he never fucking died of no cancer. He died of drinking, but not no fucking lung cancer. His liver gave out, yeah. yeah and, like, sometimes I was just like, you know what? Hillbillies do, like, like pillhead hillbillies do have a certain wisdom about them. They're, like, yeah. more in tune with the earth and the land. You know, they might they might know something that doctors and shit don't know about fucking smoking cigarettes. Maybe it is the filter that's killing us. Dude, there's a little something Wing, no, wisdom. lower income. Mm -hmm. Knowledge, boys. That's what we call it. Lower income knowledge, baby. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. There's there's something that just resonates through. The you richer you get, us. the smaller your brain is. It's true. It's <laughs> true. If I you're saw a man in a, in a damn uh, Escalade slamming through a red light earlier today and i <laughs> was yeah. like fuck you and flipping him off and he just gave a little wave granted he's like 75 <laughs> years old but you know what i mean eat the rich <laughs> the it guy was. the guy in a 2001 honda civic with a different colored hood he would he would have stopped at that light yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. yeah absolutely if you don't know whether or not to, to vaccinate your kids just go down to the methadone clinic and get some opinions down there most <laughs> people are just nicer and smarter it's yeah. true. That's just how it is, dude. That's just how it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like you got more time. You know what I mean? You got more time to, to – and it's more – You, <laughs> damn it, I'm trying not to wax philosophical here, fellas. <laughs> I haven't smoked the grass today. I'm getting a little too sincere. Well, who are you going to take advice on how to raise your kids? Are you going to take it from fucking, you know, the, the neighbor who's a professor at the community college? Or are you going to take it to a guy down at the – at AA, who has six DUIs. <laughs> leave, him, leave him over here with Joey Shimada, baby. Double J will fix him up. You gotta leave him with the fella who smokes more cigarettes and he consumes calories. You know what I mean? As, a, as an aesthetic, but also a financial, uh, a fi a financial loophole. That's the word. That's a well-respected diet. Mm -hmm. it, people talk about how expensive cigarettes are all the time. Oh, you're spending $8, $8 on a pack of cigarettes motherfucker i'm not going to coney island afterwards you know what i mean <laughs> i'm drinking out of the sink and i'm smoking cigarettes yeah. <laughs> that's cheaper than three of your meals it's true <laughs> god damn people are stupid, <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> stupid. buying a pack of cigarettes is just buying one meal that you can eat all day oh my yep. god. you don't have to worry about <laughs> anything else Fellas. you get a little you get a little hungry you want to fucking snack light up a cigarette I have a cig cut the filter off it though be smart don't yeah. fuck around. No fiberglass. Use no fiberglass. Knowledge. Use your goddamn use your goddamn noodle, motherfucker. <laughs> Snip that thing off with a pair of scissors. You got one in your drawer. 
Yep. Mm-hmm. I was at Ollie's today and I saw the opposite of both uh, white trash wisdom and knowledge. And uh, there was this lady, it was so funny, bro. She comes up and uh, I just had light bulbs and two big old rugs in my hand. So I was a little uncovered and my pants were falling down. It was embarrassing. But uh, this lady comes up and she's like, are you in line? You know, she had that classic, you Southern Belle sound to her. You know, she goes, are you in mm-hmm. line? And I'm like, yes, ma'am. I said, I think it starts back here though. And it was just, it was just me and her. And she's like, oh, okay. And she walks over and then this other girl comes in and she was uh, cut from a little bit of a nicer cloth, you know, North Face jacket, Michigan State mask on Mm -hmm. and she walks up and the lady (laughs) like a fucking pit bull dude jumps over the cart and she goes hey we're waiting in this line you got to get behind us and she's like i wasn't going towards the line she's like well you better not and then the lady's like (laughs) i said i wasn't going to the line and she's like well just so you know and they were going back and forth and she goes yeah 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 blow it out your ass and she's like I'm just saying, like, we've already been waiting in this line. And I looked up, like, so, like, like, and I'm like, oh, I don't know. It's none of my business. (laughs) It's none of my business. She goes, it ain't any of my business either. I'm like, I'm just saying that, like, you know what? She ain't fucking nobody and neither am I. So, like, you know what? It ain't none of my business. And I'm like, okay, well, (laughs) have a good day. I got to buy this rug. (laughs) I don't really I guarantee you every retail store that just opened up on Monday, like, is just fucking hellish in all of them. <laughs> it, has everything opened up in, uh, in Philadelphia? No, no. And it's like, no one fucking knows when anything is going to happen. And you can only go in some places. Like, some places don't give a shit. I was at 7-Eleven today. And it's like, you're at that halfway point where, like, some people care way too much. Some people care nothing at all. And, like... I don't even know what fucking manners are like right to perform now to like not be an asshole. I wasn't sure if I should hold the door open for this fucking lady. And uh, I, I did. Yeah, I didn't want to get too close to her. So I I let the door go. And then she fucking got pissed at me and was like, thanks, dickhead. (laughs) And 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 then she was sitting in her car. When I was coming out of the store and she, her boyfriend was in the car and I was like, am I going to get my fucking ass beat right now? <laughs> and I, I looked like such a fucking asshole because I had like AirPods in and I had sunglasses on and I had no mask. <laughs> it's like, I don't know if I should get too close to this. Like, because if you fucking flip a coin, there's a chance that the other scenario would have been don't, don't get, don't hold the door open. You psycho. You're going to give me fucking coronavirus. So it's like Anthony Fauci really needs to come out and tell us what yeah. fucking manners we need to mind from now on. You know, should we be opening the door for fucking people? I, I had to get in, like I had to stare somebody down at the grocery store. Cause I was in the frozen aisle fucking looking at the Indian pizzas. And I had the fucking, I had the door open and this guy's trying to get around me. So I close it and I just like stare at him like, <laughs> he was much shorter. Oh, okay. That's why you look down. I thought you were looking. <laughs> I have a sense of guilt if I'm like too close to someone who looks like they could have diabetes or heart heart disease or something. I don't get close to them. I give them a little. I give them an extra two steps away because I don't want to kill them accidentally. Absolutely. You know? That's very kind of you. Com- common courage. <laughs> You're just sitting there in your head thinking, Cody. You are merciful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You get the purple heart when this is all over. That's all I'm going to do. I'll put my mask on and be like, I give you all mercy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking around, observing who's overweight and obese. And I'm like, yeah, I'll stay away from that one. That one. <laughs> And they're like, oh no, the stigma's real. And you're like, no, I just think, no. Oh. And then the guy's like, sir, I told you once, you got to put that fucking mask on. I was like, no, I'm sorry. I was just reading you're at an incredibly high risk of dropping dead. Really, really high. <laughs> if, I, if I worked at a fucking tobacco store or something, I'd be going to work in one of them Bioshock fucking Seaman <laughs> fucking yeah. astronaut costumes. Because you don't know what the fuck. People walking in there coughing their fucking brains out fucking every 10 minutes. Fuck yeah, that. Just cigarette smokers can't get it. I heard that. Yeah. I did I did hear that fucking the COVID actually like enters your lungs through like the same receptors that uh, nicotine like enters with like vaping and smoking. Yeah, so I did I hear that. I think we've clogged ourselves up, which is pretty yeah. good. It sucks. I can't really speak for too long as of late i've been smoking a lot of cigarettes to try to keep the covid <laughs> mm-hmm. off me but um i haven't gotten sick hey another reason to pop strong. the filter off yeah oh, amen. just another reason 
Damn, that should be the t-shirt slogan. I need Anthony Fauci Not to come out wrong. and recommend that you nip off the filter of your cigarettes to help fight COVID. Yeah. yeah. If you yeah. keep, if you keep, if you're like in 2008, 2009 now, culturally, you know, 2012, 2013 is going to roll back around <laughs> folk punk again, but your yeah, voice yeah, is going to yeah. be so scratchy. You'll be able to do the whole thing. You know? Oh shit. Damn, this <laughs> Mountain Dew hat should be gray by then too. I'll fit right yeah. in. How many, how many folk punkers do you think picked up smoking two packs a day to try to get that perfect? A lot. Yeah, <laughs> a lot. A lot. <laughs> Man, man, you should really I, cut back. I, I, no, <laughs> no, I'm getting ready to record a CD. <laughs> you ever hear Mr. Bro? Yeah. You ever hear Mr. Bro? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it would be sick to hear a folk punk album recorded on one of those the throat things, the little hole, the little hole things. Oh, that oh. would be that would be a banger with a banjo. Yep. A banjo behind him. <laughs> yeah. Bro, oh, you, actually there's the the best folk punk song ever writ, was written by uh the Truth Organization with the with the Remember the guy comes out with the stoma and he's like like you don't always die from tobacco. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I don't rules. remember I don't remember that, that one. I do remember that. I'm about <laughs> I'm about to download the MP3 on Soul C, pop that yeah. on my iPhone so I can blast it in the car. You should just get uh you should just get the uh the flak file of it, baby, so that everybody knows. Lossless you know, audio, right? baby. You think Sorry. those guys can shove a kazoo up in that hole and fucking make a little racket, make a little noise? <laughs> <laughs> like a little baloo, dude. You know what I mean? I, like, I never got to like personally know any of the trachea boys. Did you guys uh, have trachea boys in your life? I've never had, like I've seen them at the store and stuff, or you know, well, at the my doctors. roommate's on his way. <laughs> <laughs> He's always afraid that that's gonna be his future, and honestly, it could be. Oh shit! He's a, he's a, he's a chain smoker. Damn. Oh yeah. no! See, it's, oh, cool, it's tough, yeah. man. It's tough, man, because chain smoking is fucking awesome. There's it nothing so like good. a really good day is like spending the entire afternoon drinking and just smoking cigarettes. Like you have a, a full pack, 11 in the morning. Then by five, you got to fucking walk drunk up to the store to buy another pack. <laughs> I just relived that moment the other day, my friend. Highly Hell, recommend it. I, I Highly think that, that's going to be me tomorrow. I'm going up north for a couple of days <laughs> to go fucking enjoy some time uh, next to the lake. And the only time I smoke cigarettes now is on vacation. I'm gonna get a couple packs of American Spirit. Nice. Fucking, you get in the you get in the water, like in the lake, smoking a cigarette. Everybody looks at you cockeyed, like, why are you smoking a cigarette in this precious resource? Like, get them the <laughs> fuck out of there, dude. I show, I take the cigarette butts and I put them into my my skin tight uh, swim trunks. So I'm not polluting or anything. But if, if you were a family and you observed me and what I do on the beach, it, I think it might be a cause for concern. Pissing myself and putting cigarette butts in my swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, once again, dude, being short helps, man. I fly under the radar. I walk around talking That's to myself, true. kicking trash cans, doing the whole Tommy Skunks fucking thing. Yeah. And people are just like, eh. Yeah, I mean, once you get above that six foot cusp, you become a threat. So oh, that's yeah. Why yeah. People have to stare. I can't. I get, everybody notices me anywhere I go. Yeah, you know? like, I'm I, quite literally under the radar. I'm. You saw. I'm smooth sailing. Yeah, baby. Yeah, we're we're like. A, I wish I had ships that. from Roswell, baby. You know yeah. what I mean? You show up on the radar, right over here. You right. Like, oh man, that's twenty clicks over. How the hell that happened? I've been seeing how, how like height is now so important. Maybe it always was and I just didn't know. But if you go on Tinder, it's like every fucking girl is like six foot and above. Like they're like I only yeah. swipe swipe left if you're not six foot tall. Oh bro, and I'm you like, message Fuck. every one of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Size queen. I kinda <laughs> wanna yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking catfish they think they think it's awesome but it, it does suck that everybody looks at you like a big oil barge like fucking <laughs> like you know you're a big beautiful ship everyone's got to stop and oh mouth drop like, oh <laughs> holy shit look at that guy have you ever seen someone so tall? <laughs> i just, <laughs> just want to go into speedway get my fucking frozen uh frappuccino and my thing of turkey jerky in peace i don't want to be fucking gawked at fucking oh like that's a... why you put in the braids and <laughs> yeah. press your, that's why you press your feel a track suit before going to speedway right 
<laughs> you don't want to be noticed. Hey, 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 it's not my fault I catch the eye of elder black guys. Yeah. What do you, I mean, we got, we're into the same shit. They can smell, sniff their own out. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We're, so, we're sophisticated people, man. We can smell each other. <laughs> <laughs> a nice 56 year old, you know what I mean? Like a little bit, been around the block, knows a thing or two about a thing or two. Knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's Still, the episode name. Knowledge, yeah. comma, yeah. wisdom. Whoa. <laughs> Y'all just seen the writer's room in real life. Yeah. Still <laughs> drenched in Axe body spray. Just yeah. fucking walking through, <laughs> walking through Circle K, baby. You know. <laughs> you got to spray yourself as you're walking in the door. <laughs> <laughs> as you're holding the door open for somebody and coughing. <laughs> well, no mask. Yeah, no mask. <laughs> I'll tell you no, this, hell though. No. Aunt Robin, one year, she bought me cool water cologne for my birthday. I wore it, and like, I don't want to assume fifties, but like maybe like forties. Four year old black dude was like, "Damn, that smells really good. Is that cool water?" And I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, actually." <laughs> <it is."> and <laughs> they're like, "Oh, nice. That smells good." And like, just like that, like in pan, smells good. Like, what yeah, was you know, it called? Like, cool water. water. Cool water. Oh, cool water. I thought you were saying yeah. pool water. I'm like, my no. man walking around smelling like chlorine. <laughs> no, from Body Dottie by Snoop Dogg. You know what I'm talking about? No, I'm not. Pool water really. cologne? Oh. No, never. never Fresh seal water. of approval. Maybe. He knows. He knows. I gotta I say never, I never liked fucking cologne. I, I was a big fan of Victoria's Secret Love Spell Body Spray. Oh. That was, that was my shit. I go to the dudes in the dashikis with, uh, with the vials. You know, they set yeah. it up in Detroit on the bridge. Uh huh. Holy shit, dude! You're gonna get the best muscle at Eastern ever. Market. Those guys that sell yeah, like dude, Bob you know Marley paints and shit. Yeah, yeah, I know those guys. Bro. I know those oh guys. My God. Right on the bridge, dude, just selling like 95 degrees, scalding hot vials of of smell good. And you're like, um, <laughs> yeah, I'll have the sandalwood, the musk, and can I have the Obama? <laughs> and they're like, yeah, no problem. They're like they have like all celebrity names and shit too. Yeah, yeah. Kanye, oh, yeah. The, the Obama, the money smell. Oh, I the love money it. Money smell. Yeah, dude, I, I I will try to acquire you some money smell before you yeah. get down here. It uh, it's not great. It'll it'll be good for when I hop back on the dating scene. Really yeah, it, it, yeah, it really will. I thought we I were... should just start trying to smell like good pussy. Just using <laughs> perfume, Fiji and, water, and and blunts like Lil Wayne. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, you know, I'll come in. Little white owl in your face. Yeah. Give you some speedy water to drink <laughs> up. You know what I mean? Go hit the town. We'll, we'll, I, take, uh, we'll take you over to Fairlane Mall, like the black guy mall, and we'll get you like a fucking triple XL leather jacket that has Al Pacino <laughs> as Scarface, like mm-hmm. carved into the leather in the back. Dude, yeah. We'll get, we'll get everybody in the mall. Shit, dude. We'll get everyone in the mall to to breathe blunt smoke on you. <laughs> yeah. We'll get we'll put you we'll put you into somebody's Lincoln Navigator and they'll just everybody will roll down the windows and just <laughs> blow, blow the blunt smoke on you. <laughs> Damn. We'll get you hooked I, up, play it. You're in the Lincoln, dude. That's how that's how we do it in Detroit. We help we gotta help our own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All you gotta do is go closet. tell tell a fucking group of black teens like, yo, my friend's trying to get some pussy. They're like, come on, we we got Lincoln Nephew. <laughs> yeah. we'll take him out. We'll take him back. <laughs> Thank God you said something. Thank God you said something. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, yeah, baby. Oh man, you just like you. It's a party. Bring some red cups to to Heart Plaza. You know what I mean? Around the fireworks. Avoid the gunshots. You're gonna have the time of your fucking life. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy how many people die at the fireworks. It is a place of aggression. And I told you why. It's because when Dagos are in love, you know what I mean? Oh, shit happens. You go to the firework with a beautiful woman, you are going to get into some shit. It's true. I I used to, I went down happen. there with my ex girlfriend a long time ago when we were dating and I'd have to tell her, like, don't hold my hand. No. I don't want <laughs> I don't want any I don't want any fucking problems down here. <laughs> no fuck away. I, I, I'll act like I don't know you in the middle of the grocery store. <laughs> Have you ever had someone walk up to you while you're with your girlfriend or with a girl that you're like seeing or something and they tell you that they think that your girlfriend's good looking? Yes. <laughs> I had like, I was I was at the this mall I'm talking about, the black guy mall, and fucking like where I'm walking through, I'm holding her hand. <laughs> and this I, this shit was like a fucking movie. There's like this like black teenager, he's got a crew, and she and he just like starts <laughs> I'm like I look I look at him 
And he looked at me, and he's just like, she ain't for you, man. Oh! She ain't for you. And I'm like, the hell she isn't. <laughs> <laughs> beat red. Yeah, I turned beat red, dude. I was so fucking embarrassed. And, and like my girlfriend, she was just like, oh, don't listen to him. No. And that's all I heard for yep. like, she's not for you, man. She's not for you. <laughs> I've had that it was, same it was experience. Like, it was like the intro to a rap video, dude. That's, yeah. how, that's how smooth this guy was. <laughs> just getting bullied yeah. for being like a cuck white guy. Yeah. He like, oh, that's look- another. They could smell it like sharks. <laughs> like, oh, their fucker looked like Avon Barksdale from The Wire. <laughs> Beautiful, like, Kooji sweatsuit. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing, man. That's the thing. It's like, you're right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, my girlfriend's too good for me. <laughs> she deserves, like, some, like, really nice philanthropy guy who, like, you know, helps kids with like cleft lips or something. Yeah. Somebody who's doing something good for the world. Then, also wears Kooji sweatshirts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, uh, <laughs> my, my friend I grew up with, Andre, uh, we call him Foreigner. He's like my Romanian friend. I've talked about him on the pod before, but uh, he had a mantra that he would only date like morbidly obese women or, you know, just horrifically like ugly women because he got off on uh, like walking into the mall with her and like girls looking at them and thinking that guy can do a lot better than that. <laughs> that rocks. That, that that was what the that that was his turn on. <laughs> That's awesome. He also used to uh meet like uh you know trans women on Craigslist in like 2007 and uh fuck them in gas station parking lots like down oh, in Toledo, man. Ohio. Hey, that's so cool. Yeah. It, it was ahead pretty of the curve. sick. Yeah. We uh, we when I first met Andre, it was at an Emotron show, and he was wearing an all silk dollar sign shirt, and I, and I was like, "Damn, bro, this is exactly what he's like, describing." I, I love him so much because he's like a walking paradox. He's like he's here illegally. Like they're like he got married pretty much to keep him in the country. He's not an American citizen. He's a Trump supporter, uh, and he he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Him, him and this other, uh, our other friend that I went to high school with, they ended up fucking, you know, having sex with each other. And, uh, you know, the one of them got married to this girl and they were, you know, they were up, the one was upset because, you know, he's in love with him. You know, he's just a gay guy. He's a gay man. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that, baby. Fly, no, no. Fly your colors, baby. Fly your colors. It's going to be way easier emotionally. But then you get him going on immigrants and he goes on some pro Trump like thing and he's an immigrant. I'm like, dude, Trump wants to like you are the predator he's talking about. He wants you out of this country. You and your seven DUIs. <laughs> That's a <What>? power move. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I love I love him though, dude. Porter Porter fucking rules. Oh yeah, this is a shout out to Foreigner on the pod. Right here, baby. <laughs> if you if you're listening to this, Foreigner. He got, he got, he got married in uh, September and uh, he invited the old high school crew there and uh, we got really drunk and we started threatening uh, gun violence. Uh, We we were like, we should start threatening to, to shoot up the wedding. And we, you know, we thought it was hilarious. And then one of, one of our boys, Hondo, he's like, uh, he's like a Samoan dude. He's a big Samoan dude. And uh, he got cut off at the bar and he leans over and he's like, I'm cut off. Me and all my friends have guns in the car, and we'll go get them. And he ended up getting fucking detained for, like, an hour and a half. It was at this fucking country club. Like, he had, like, eight security guards on him, and he had to explain. He's like, no, no, we've just been joking all night that we're going to shoot up the place. We don't have any guns. <laughs> Holy shit. It's so bad. <laughs> fucking... In my in one of my earlier bands that I was in, we used to, the the one guitarist was like a cartoonist, and uh, we used to just joke all the time about the idea of doing that at a gig, you know, mm-hmm. a little a little. <laughs> <laughs> just you setting up your set and you pull one out of a guitar case and. <laughs> <laughs> but that's you just jokes on everyone who came that's the set <laughs> we talked we, we did whole tours we were like imagine if you just did a tour and then every single date it's like these fucking massive crimes <laughs> holy 
fucking call yourself call yourselves the trench coat mafia come out with like the full trench coats and everything you yeah. shit, bro. I'm going to prison for this. But that's the tour. <laughs> that's the tour. <laughs> yeah. Did y'all so ever bad. hear about uh, Sam Kennison doing doing that shit when uh, <laughs> when they would pay him to walk people? Like the the promoter would be like, Sam, I want to. Uh, yeah, I, I know you're guaranteed seventeen fifty. I'll give you two thousand dollars if you can go walk that room. And so we'd walk out, and people like knew him as like the screaming pastor and the big, you know, red faced MTV comedian. So they're like, he's going to say something shocking. You know, a bunch of people out at, at, at the theater, basically. And he comes out. And the story goes, he takes a mic. He's wearing his big old trench coat and his big duster. And he looks around. And he goes, how do you guys know that I don't have two fully loaded automatic weapons underneath this trench coat? <laughs> and everyone's like nervously laughing. He's like, how do you know? How do you know the doors aren't locked? How do you know that I, I'm not just itching to pull one out? And just spray every one of them. Right <laughs> 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 Boom! <laughs> they just like they go flying out this of the building. Show <laughs> <fucking works>. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the two thousand. I fucking love that. See, that's, that's that, amazing. That, that's because like Colum- Columbine taught us that uh, you know threats are hilarious. You know, yeah. it's it's not funny that you know these kids like shot up a school and all those people died, but it's funny that you could just start calling in threats to your high school to get a day off. Yeah. <laughs> we got a bomb threat at, at high school one time. We had a few. I think we oh, had yeah. a, like multiple a year. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, it was Damn. fun. People don't was... give a shit. Everyone at my school is on heroin and like no one wanted to do anything. So it was just like, yeah, like another day off. What do you want to do? You wanna, you wanna go to fucking math class or you wanna call in a bomb threat? <laughs> bomb <laughs> threat every fucking time. Yeah, dude, fucking you buy two McChickens, you roll up the blunt. Put on the route too. Yeah. All the bomb threat. You know what I'm yeah. saying? You got yeah. to pay off. Carter <laughs> three just dropped. Boys, you want to go smoke a joint? <laughs> Hold on, I'll take care of this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying, dude? Thank God for razor phones and Star sixty nine, baby. Hello. <laughs> Hello. We tried to use a little Star sixty nine to hang out with dudes in Pittsburgh on Craigslist, and uh, it backfired big time, bro. Why they found out who you were? Well, we were like they were doing like um, like so if you go to the men seeking men section, they have a casual yeah. encounters one or not casual encounters, platonic. Yeah, platonic, yeah. platonic encounters. Yeah, pl- <laughs> platonic encounters. So we and could we, let, we could like, let these men know that we did not want to fuck them, yeah. but we were looking for companionship. Yeah, and they're they're all on the same page too. Like their whole thing is like I'm looking to bicycle, not gay. I'm looking to smoke blunts, <laughs> not gay. Yeah, you know, and like yeah. going down, and we found this beautiful man with braids, had great taste in music. I thought we were gonna hit it off, and uh, we were drinking whiskey out of, or it was vodka. I think we were drinking just straight vodka out of the bottle at like three in the afternoon mm-hmm. on Bob's couch, naked, <laughs> playing yep. on the w- internet, w- watching Sam Hyde videos. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Hyde videos, and uh, it was like we we always had the fish on the line. We're like, we're gonna go see Grand Buffet tonight. Come meet us by the dumpster. We're gonna get fucking torn up, boy style. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, then the selfies went in, and they're like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> they was like, you know, doing the classic, you know, pants off tuck, and then holding the bottle up, like, what's up? Just a couple of crazy guys, you know, I mean, looking for a crazy time. And uh, I, think, I, think, I think we said that we wanted to build a haunted house uh, behind the, du- the dumpster behind the Sunoco on mm. Bloomfield Avenue. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rest in peace, Craigslist. Like I, I did end up getting um an OK Cupid date that night. If you remember that, the the one who was like, "Don't hit me up, ask. Don't hit me up talking about my dog." And you're like, "Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was so." No, funny. She, she came and like uh met me at the Grand Buffet show, and then I I said hi to her, and then I ditched her the entire time to fucking rap along to all of Grand Buffet songs. And uh, when the show was over, I was like, did you have fun? And she's like, I guess. I was like, all right, well, me and my friends, we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what about you, Cody? You, you, you meet up at, with any, any ladies that you accidentally ghost for the homies? Accidentally. <laughs> but purposely. I'm giving the benefit of Yeah, as many times. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, I was like, I talked to that girl recently. And she, uh, I don't, maybe I didn't talk to you about it. But she, she was like, oh, like, um, E-boys hit different. 
And I was like, oh, do you mean by different, like weak dick and emotionally abusive? Because if you need that, I can help you. <laughs> and, and I just, that's the beauty of like not living there. I can really just lay it all out on the line. <laughs> sure. And then, the one I asked this girl, I was like, you want to hang out sometime? And she never replied. And then I was like, I want to just text her and be like, oh, so you don't want to hang out with a retard. <laughs> put her on the spot. It's like, what are the consequences? There are none. <laughs> Have fun with it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> until, until I like run into them at Kroger and I'm like, hmm. Turn down an aisle real quick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's why you got to keep your V for Vendetta mask with you. Yeah. <laughs> you run it you you run into a fucking girl you slighted on fucking Tinder. You just throw that anonymous mask right on, start fighting the revolution, baby. Now that anonymous is back, that's cool again. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta yeah. dust it off out of my closet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby, get the uh, get the egg yolk and fucking toast off of the off the mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> when when anonymous died, I buried it in my backyard in memoriam. So I gotta, I gotta dust it off. You know. <laughs> they, have, they try to bring me back to the old me. Yeah. <laughs> Just like in the morning, in the rain, digging through. Could you imagine like archaeology, like five hundred years into the future, and like mm. there's like these people like picking with little little brushes, and they come across like the dumb shit we've had in the past, like. 20 years yeah like flashlights yeah. in someone's backyard or like a yo mega x brain yo yo <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah shit like that all right all right i i want that to come back though You're real yo yo guy <clears throat> i think i think it's only like 10 bucks for a yo mega x brain and those things were f fucking wicked like you could oh, you fuck at 16 they were bitch. they were designed for performance they were designed for tricks Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know it's those gears. those Duncan things are weak. That's some weak sissy shit. And Omega X brain, that was the Chad Alpha fucking yo yo. No, bro. <laughs> the, I'll explain. We had yo yo masters come to our school and show off tricks for us. And with the, the you light know, up yo yos. Yeah, with the light up yo Omega X brains, they'd be fucking rolling out on rollerblades, <laughs> doing fucking spin the cradle and shit. A kid I'll from my you. high school is like a, a world champion yo yoer. You got a yo, you know a yo-yo master? Yep. He's he's like, you can YouTube his name and he has like hundreds of thousands of views doing like crazy shit on a stage. I'm I'm thinking with my height, I can be the biggest yo-yo master of all time. You could do yo-yo awesome. mang instead of yo-yo man. And that would be your like, you're on my handle. Yo-yo mang? Yo-yo mang? And then like, yo, like yo-yo mang. Yeah, they hire you in, dude. You can go into high school so just smelling like cigarettes and shit. <laughs> Like, don't bother me. I'm working, kid. Don't bother me. Don't bother me. Look, look at the fucking trick. Pr they're like all just all playing on their phones. Principal, who's smoking in the bathroom? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's me, Yo-Yo Ming. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, who? Yo-Yo Ming. <laughs> Yo-Yo Ming. I'm the PM assembly guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, like those dudes that hang out in the fucking painted lady waiting to bust. <laughs> Where we almost got we almost got a Cyrax net on us that one time, Vinny, remember? What's it was time? We were we were in the bathroom, we were doing bad boy shit and uh and we joked around and we're like we're like, hey, hey man and he was like there was a guy pissing while we were fucking around. And uh he goes, I'm like, Hey, you're not a cop, right? Oh, <laughs> yeah. And he goes uh, DEA. I like zipped up his pants and like stood there for a second. We're like, <laughs> let's go do these bath salts by the by the dumpster. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it's a little safer. Cause uh, boy, shit, man, that was he had the haircut. And do you do you have like a local community spot that's kind of like famous for having like a glory hole or like sex hookup rooms or anything? Yeah, Jerry DJs them constantly. Oh, yeah, yeah. Our our friend Jerry, friend of the pod, Jerry Downey. What's up, homie? What up, baby? <laughs> uh, yeah, he, he DJ a lot of fucking sleazy fucking techno shit. Yeah, gay bathhouses, after hours porn shops, all they that. They just fuck shit. openly? Mm, I never asked. Yeah, I, I don't know. They fuck. I, if, if Jerry used to... Uh, you know, be shirtless with like a tight leather jacket. He'd snow, snort coke off a, a mirror in front of everybody. Hell yeah! <laughs> 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 that, 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 dude, you know what? Who amongst us? And, and that, <laughs> I, I don't know. There, there might have been sex going on at that kinky rave or whatever they had in downtown Detroit. Like the one you got turned away from because of your Canadian tuxedo? No, they they thought they told me I couldn't wear my fucking my beautiful denim jacket in there. I said, "Fuck you." 
<laughs> Twenty dollars to get in. I can't wear my fucking denim jacket. You're saying to lose it? Well, fuck it. You're losing my fucking twenty dollars. I'm going home. Meanwhile, Dave get to come in with his fucking pecker hanging out. Going. Yeah. I thought this was a freak show. I thought this was a freak show. He got online the next day. He's just like, you some fucking weak ass motherfuckers going in here. I think, yeah, I think like, there's a, a, a bathhouse in downtown Detroit that Jerry was telling me about that, you know, where some cool shit go down at. Nice. Oh, the Spitz. Yeah, the Spitz. Yeah, he said you could just, like, walk around in, like, your towel, hanging out with old Greeks, eating hummus plates and shit like that, and just, like, bring your own. Yeah, there's, like, an old Greek guy uh, that will just come and, like, hand feed you olives. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really yeah, you, styly, you know, you'll be sitting like there and. It'll be open, open, and then put a little kalamad in. <laughs> the beauty of Philadelphia being like one of those like weird, hip, like queer white people cities. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like sex parties and like sex warehouses and shit. What? Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like some eyes wide shut shit. Well, ben, you know? ben, ben Franklin did found Philadelphia and he was like a renowned, nasty freakazoid. He's a power yeah. bottom. <laughs> just like Aleister Crowley. Did you know Aleister Crowley was a power bottom? Like, no, confirmed. I didn't. Confirmed, bro. He'd, he'd send his disciples in and he's like, yeah, 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 man, I'll, I'll teach you about the keys of Solomon. No worries, no worries. Yeah, 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 dude, I love camel mask. Great shit. Hey, but first of all, would you mind taking care of something for me? Like, yeah, 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 not a problem. So, like, you need me to, like, go and, like, get some talismans or, like, say a seance? He's like, kind of, kind of like that. Um, here, why don't you just do this quick line, real quick? Uh, take your take take your bottoms off, you know. Why don't you set up, get a little, get get at ease, you know what I mean? And then, like while he was doing the seances, he's simultaneously jerking them off. And then before you know it, everyone's well, everyone, I guess everyone wins except for white magic, because yeah. you know. Now you see that that all checks out with me. Going down. That that all makes perfect sense to me. But uh, you're telling me that Ben Franklin was getting fucked in his ass. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How do you Damn. think? How do you think the brain works, baby? It's like nicotine. Hmm. You know what I mean? You don't think yeah, you, you got to come to have clean, 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 and clear thoughts. You have to. I can't believe no one's fucking protesting his uh, statue. There's like fucking five of him here. I don't think Ben Franklin. Uh, I don't think he had slaves. I think he just fucked. He was in a lot of interracial relationships. Hence the power bottom. Progressive. Progressive. Yeah. He used yeah, power uh, bottoms don't discriminate, dude. They're like, come on, in everyone. His, like, mind rotted out from syphilis, and they, like, shipped him off to France so he wouldn't embarrass himself over here. They let him go embarrass himself and die over in France. Ben Franklin, the trad wigger. (laughs) (laughs) The trad gay wigger, baby. Yeah. He invented the the penis (laughs) extender. Also South Pole, clothing line. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if you knew that. I'm impressed that, you know... We were talking about penis extenders in the group chat the other night, and uh, you know, I I had no idea that a penis extender was a, a, a fucking Gundam wing that you put your penis inside of. Do you misspell I, Gundam on purpose? You know, I I, I did. <laughs> It boils I, my blood every time I read it. I ignore the rest of the text messages. It, it would like auto correct to that. It would auto correct to that. And I'm like, eh, they know what I'm saying. Oh, man. when I read gum gum, I was like, <laughs> <laughs> silence. <laughs> that, see, boys, I'm very passive aggressive. I'll never say I have an issue, but the group chat might go on silence for a couple of days. You know what I mean? Like, pop back in. I'm like, what? Mac Miller and Earl Sweatshirt? <laughs> Pretty cool shit. But yeah, wow. it is it is like putting your penis into a Zord and that <laughs> that fucking rules. I you're I unlocking a hidden ability. I, I had no idea. Like I thought like penis extending technology like started and ended with the penis pumps. I had no idea that they made fucking mech warrior costumes for a dick. Yeah. I mean dude, it's amazing. Like I like I said, I tried one. It was pretty good, but like uh, that's the thing—they make them for like little, little dick dudes. Like I'm sure. talking little. Like I bought one; it came, and I couldn't—I could barely even fit my flaccid dick in it. Did and you I return like, it? Nice, <laughs> no, bro. I mean there's no returning it. I have it. I have it. I'll show you it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Will this get taken down off uh off fucking YouTube? No, know. I think I think so, it's all right. There's a hole here, but it <laughs> it gets tight in there, and it's literally impossible to use. <laughs> And, uh, and, and I was like, fuck, I can't fucking use this. And it was 30 bucks. 
and then so I had to get like a one for a normal dude, like a normal dick. And yeah, uh, normal. <laughs> yeah. What's what's that? The X X X L. <laughs> dude, it is man. I mean, I sent the photo. It's the it's like my forearm in width and length, and uh, yeah, it was it's a Punisher. But it's cool. You get to you get to LARP as a fucking like mega dicked Chad for like ten minutes, and then you oh get yeah. Tired. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna do that, you got to get the ones I saw where like they wrap around your balls like the yeah. mask of a Slipknot guy. Uh, <laughs> so that way you can like go out to the club or the bar and you know have uh you know a rock hard giant penis ready to go so that way if you're going to like fuck a guy or a girl after the bar you're not like awkwardly like oh hold on i gotta go get a lighter out of my car and then yeah you're in your car attaching your fucking gundam penis (laughs) you know you want to make sure that it's already on and ready to go yep (laughs) i mean it's incredible like some girl goes to blow you and she zips down your pants and it's just this giant plastic black (laughs) dick (laughs) strapped around with a little button on your balls. <laughs> like, what 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 in the fuck is this? <laughs> oh, it's the hardest. Nothing. It's the hardest, Cody. My dick. Yeah, the, <laughs> the biggest fucking dick you've ever seen. <laughs> what? You don't want to do it now? <laughs> fucking tease. <laughs> Two fucking tease. <laughs> I'm calling your mom. I'm gonna tell her she raised the tease. <laughs> Dude, it, it's crazy. I mean, I like I understand why people use them. You know, it was it sure. was a cool thing to say I've done. I probably won't ever do it again. I should probably throw it out, but I have it for. It's like if I could have no. my own museum, I would hang it up in there. You might you oh, might have a son one there. day. You might have a son one yeah. day, and he might have a small penis. You know, yeah. if like he gets like his mother's father's jeans. <laughs> you know, your father-in-law's yeah, yeah. little ass penis. If he gets yeah. that little dingy. <laughs> You know, if you can give him a penis extender when he turned 13, you're setting him up for a fucking much better future than he would have if he just rolled around with the dinger. You you go to sit down, your dad's like, come here, son. We have to have a talk. And he pulls out a purple fucking dick extender. He's like, son, you know what this is? Put this on. (laughs) I'm going to tell you guys, first and foremost, kids are blabbermouths. They walk around school like magpies. That child's not coming home, bro. That child's not coming home. You go in there, telling someone, guidance counselor, calling CPS, baby. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah, but immediately. You got a little bit filled on You're doing that kid a favor. He doesn't have to live with the shame of having a small dick. It's true. Perform- <laughs> you own a small dick, but performatively good. You know, mm-hmm. it's fine. Motley I- Cruz penises are really that large. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I it's I I realized the other day I have like dick dysmorphia because like I you ever like put your head down a little bit closer to where your dick is and it looks like it doubles in size because yeah, just like the POV. perspective, yeah, and like oh. I realized that and I was like, wait, like maybe my dick's like not that bad, like it's <gasps> fine, it's and uh, yeah, you should try it if you haven't because you Bro. when you're like four feet away from your dick, it always looks shitty. It's not good. Uh, Also, if you can take a picture of your penis at the right angle, you can make it look like a, you know, like like it is a penis extended fucking. That's what happened. That's what happened to make (laughs) me realize it. I was I took a photo and then I was like, wait, like my dick, it does not look like that at all. (laughs) And and then I kind of like went into this. I was like, have I been lying to and disappointing everyone I've ever interacted with sexually for years? Like. (laughs) I don't know. Like the picture makes me look like I'm fucking hung, but I'm literally not even close. You know, so it's, it's tough. Dick dysmorphia, dude. Oh shit, baby. The P- real. See, people don't want to talk about the real issues. Yeah, I mean, it's all. It's, you just gotta like you know learn some uh, illusions. You gotta like make friends with a magician to learn you know some tricks to trick women into thinking that you have a, a giant penis. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, I saw this girl. She, she's like a, she's like a punk band front. Uh, she, she's like sings in this band and she posts about political things all the time. But then the other day was like, Oh, like you shouldn't be calling racist uh, small dick or say small dick energy because it's like, uh, like shaming, a, a bo- not body, body positive or whatever. And I like DM'd her and I was like, preach queen. And she was like, <laughs> she's like, I'm 4'11". Anything bigger than four or five inches is intimidating to me. And I was like, I'll be your five inch king. <laughs> I, was like, I, was like, I was like, I hate myself for texting that. But she was like, damn, that fucking rules that. Like, All right, dude, like, All right let's go. 
<laughs> See, most people live in more people live in 2009 than you think. Yeah, I'm I know. Just say I know. That. I'm just gonna say that, dude. My 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 private Instagram brings people out the woodwork. I get DM by oh. people you would never oh, yeah. think would drop the word retard, but I get it pretty regular in the in the in the pods like instagram you know there's a lot of 2008 2009 freedom fighters out there (laughs) one of us we are we are we are the retard alliance (laughs) (laughs) can we watch let's go to prison for the eighth time this week (laughs) (laughs) on tv that was a funny movie on the uh, on the naked Martin that. video, I was gonna ask if he could say the word retard or autistic, but I didn't want to risk him having to improvise and say no, so <laughs> I had to I had to go for it. An indie podcast for <laughs> retard. <laughs> <laughs> slap slap slap. <laughs> Dude, he's got a fucking hog too. That man's like five and a half inches soft. You know he, he's he's fucked because of his Instagram account. Absolutely. I mean that guy he like he like uh got paid four hundred dollars to shit onto white bread and then eat it. Yeah, there's a vi- and that's what? that's why yeah his website's font is his name in poop because it oh, went viral. Interesting. Yeah. He's he's a fucking legend, dude. That guy rocks. Wow. Yeah. Naked Marvin. Thank you so much. <laughs> Mar- <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got tattoos that people have made him get for money. He'll do anything. He's like a pay pig. Oh, or well, no, like I guess a... he's Finn Dom. We're the oh. pay pigs. I was I was t- <laughs> telling you about this uh, last week. Scarlet's Web, a new boy shooting club film about a sex worker and a pay pig. You yes. know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's uh, she writes she writes her OnlyFans URL. She writes her Amazon wish list, and then you know, Wilbur Wilbur's just rolling around on the ground. And he's like, "Yes, my queen. Yes, how much? How much? How how are you doing the today, beautiful? You know, just, just, just taking his disability check, putting it right into his bank account, and sending it right over to her through her OnlyFans site and her yeah. Patreon. Scarlet's Web, baby. And then and then I'll be Templeton. You know what I mean." I'll be the the wily, the wily podcaster eating out of the garbage can, and also trying to get a couple of bucks out of Scarlet because you know I see the wish list. You know yeah. what I mean? I see the sure. wish list. It's the best part of uh, you know you know sex workers. Yeah, you treats. Yeah, all the time. You, like <laughs> hey, all the time. Hey, would you mind like adding the Boba Fett Slave One Lego set to your wish list? <laughs> I could really use that. <laughs> the best. Oh my God! I yeah, sure. I, I implore every one of you shooters, get into a platonic best friendship with a sex worker. Yes. It is going to be the time of your life. You get to have the most fun at the bar. Yeah. Think about all the, think about the memorabilia. Think about the collectibles you will be able to obtain with a sex worker friend. Yep. Mm -hmm. And if you're lucky, you'll end up on the the close friends list on Instagram. Get free content. Hello. Hello. It's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, and all it that was like one of the, the the spiral moments when I got banned on Instagram for a day. I had like a fe- I like spiraled and I was like, oh my god, there's so many hot people that I'm on the close friends of that I'm never gonna be on again because my account is gone. <laughs> but but yeah. got unbanned. I'm back. But <laughs> <out. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I feel like. <laughs> At least it was like just people... a short grieving process. Yeah, yeah. There's like girls I don't even talk to and who probably hate my fucking guts, but like I'm like in the I'm in the dark crevice of their close friends list. They don't even know I'm still hidden there. <laughs> I changed my username so rapidly they can't keep up with it. And I'm That's a good like, tactic. <laughs> I'm just hiding in the cre- L- lurking uh, in the fucking shadows, <laughs> looking at pussy pit, looking at tit. <laughs> You just see that green circle, and you're like, fucking, nice, dude, it's dude. the highlight of the day, depending the, on what account it is. The the so lights good. are off in your room, and you're huddled in the corner with your phone looking like a retard master splinter. Because <laughs> it's attached to the wall? Yeah. <laughs> you ain't got enough yet. You ain't got enough yet. I know, I know, I know. Oh, you ain't got enough yet. I do the same thing. Unfortunately, I'm brain dead. I'll do the same thing for flirting. Sit nice. down in the... In the splint master splint, splint, splinter position, dehydrated in the dark, just going back and forth. You know what I mean? Ta- Taxing her and then eating a piece of cheese, like. <laughs> 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 
working out with my kettlebells, yeah. screaming at the wall in dark. Chain smoking cigarettes. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know? <laughs> Looking at your Kevin Nash and Scott Hall action figures for confidence. Like, I got this shit, guys, right? And they're like, oh, yeah, you got it, bro. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah I'm bro. I'm myself emotionally vulnerable, buddy. I'm pretty scared. And then Scott <laughs> Hall is like, hey, yo, quit being a bitch. <laughs> you know what I mean? I got a little Kevin Nash figure right now. I'm staring at it. I'll put it on the gram later for you shooters. It looks exactly like Vinny <laughs> right now, bro. This diesel picture looks just like you. I think, I think it's good luck to have Kevin Nash and Scott Hall, like, looking at you from above. I got, I got my Outsiders action figure set up, you know. Mm -hmm. I, and like how my grandma has, like, fucking precious angel statues and, you know, that, that dumb fucking angel baby shit. Mm -hmm. I, got, I got fucking – I got the Outsiders, man. Damn, I remember when you remember you had six six oh nine, the three year anniversary of the six 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 show, and we we brought all that uh, we bought all those precious moments from the the Bible store clearance section, and we brought them in, and we were, we after y'all got kicked out because of the poop the pillow incident, we yeah. had fuel to the flames, and we were just turning up the wolf by Andrew WK, all like eighteen <laughs> years old underage drinking and just smashing precious angels or precious moments <laughs> angels against the wall of his bar, and like you have to get the fuck out of here right yeah, now. Yeah, they they and were gonna a classic. <laughs> 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 they they were gonna call the the cops. Uh, you know, I, I don't think any of us knew the kind of damage to a small bar could be done with just a pillow. You fucking open up a feather pillow at a bar, a tiny fucking bar. It's game over for them. <laughs> they, were, they were still vacuuming up feathers like fucking three months later. When we saw Curtis and they changed the name of the bar 10 years later, you could still see feathers <laughs> across the bar. And it's like, you guys aren't from that. And it's like, what? No, no, no. No, I don't, no, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. No what idea, man. I don't even remember the double O pub. Oops. <laughs> never, never been there. Never, never been here before in my life. Never been to Redford, Michigan. I don't like it. Arby's, the Arby's here. They're out of everything. The fucking Tim Hortons over there. No chicken. What you got it with it? <laughs> Shit, man. That's the best place. Cody, I think we talked about this before. Where the, uh, where Curtis and this other fellow who may or may not have been sleeping outside, were stealing money from that touring metal band yeah. of like fifteen-year-old kids <laughs> from New yeah, Jersey. Yeah, they ran. They ran roughshod out of it. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll help you carry that drum kit in, and like the kid's like carrying it just fine, and yanks it out of his hand. He's like, "That's gonna be seven dollars, man." <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, there's depending on where you play a show in Philly. Like, if you play like a house show that's probably in like a. Uh, all black neighborhood that some white kids moved into mm -hmm. there will be some neighborhood fellas who like walk up and expect you to pay them in order to like move your cab or something yeah and they but they won't let you go there's no <laughs> way like you're you're pay fucked yeah, just pay him. <laughs> just pay him. there's a homeless dude on my block who just walks around picking glass bottles out of recycling cans and just smashing them on the ground <laughs> like all the way awesome. down the street and like i support it <laughs> but I, I've heard him get yelled at by ladies on the block so many times. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna take that tactic if I ever do get back into to music, start going to shows again. I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to the touring bands and be like, hey, uh, you know, it's gonna cost you about fifty hundred bucks if you want some protection <laughs> here tonight. Yeah. You don't know what the fuck could happen around you. You know, you could get a fucking your tires slashed. You could get your windows and your van broken out. But for a hundred dollars, you know, we'll keep an eye on it all night for you. Mm -hmm. Start shaking them down. You got to do that at St. Andrews. Oh, Cody, another Detroit pro mm -hmm. tip when you get here. Mm -hmm. If you're at St. Andrews, you have to pay uh, the fella casing the joint at the, uh, not the security guard, but probably the man who sleeps outside. I don't want to assume. But <laughs> uh, he might have a home, but he, he paces. And what he'll do is he judges you on your character. If you're a bleeding heart, you know what I mean? You look yeah. at the human side, you give him some money, nothing's happening to your car. But, oh boy, you see some people that tell him to fuck off, he does a, you know, nice. across the street, and dude, just like out of the woodwork. You know I what I mean? People like, like, just that, like come through and they're like yeah look at this dumb motherfucker lost <laughs> let, let the door i, I really i really want to catch a, a rico charge from fucking <laughs> uh extorting money and, and and bullying pop punk bands <laughs> into yeah. giving me money i want to catch a rico for that bro we That'd should go awesome. on tour with a band and you just do that yeah just squeeze squeeze all the opening bands all the local bands yeah Dude, go with a bad boy band. Go with like personal in the pizza. Hey, I'm told like, I'm yeah. told there's gonna be a couple oh, hundred yeah. people here tonight. You know, maybe we'll get you a good spot on the show for you know, you mm -hmm. toss us fifty bucks, sixty-five <laughs> bucks. You know, we'll make sure you play in front of like a hundred people. 
and they pay you and then when like three drunk <laughs> fucking pugs show up that hey i don't know kid it was an invest it was an investment didn't pan out too well for you you know maybe next time try lotto tickets that might work out a little better for you you got better odds <laughs> Look, oh wait, you're in this to make money? No, 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 no. <laughs> Listen to me, pal. Former, former, former punk. <laughs> former, former punk. And pop in. I love denouncing punk rock, dude. Although, yeah, that's awesome. You, I have realized we have burnt every bridge <laughs> on the whatever. inside of Michigan, bro. Dude, I went over. I, it's it's a fucking rap. When I move, I swear <laughs> to God, dude. I yeah. Cody Unchained, baby. I'm ripping them off. They, they, they can cancel me. They can cancel me anywhere, but they yeah. can't cancel me on a Team Fortress 2 server. Yep. <laughs> I could live there the rest of my life. <laughs> yeah, with, so the, the, with the spam bot. <laughs> <laughs> I, will, I will live a peaceful life retired amongst the spam bots <laughs> the spam bots that just say the n-word over and over and over again this is my retirement community like in the midst of you trying to explain like video game culture and like the masculine violent aspects of war movies and stuff like that to your old lady as she's getting to spend more time with you and like you know learn more about your hobbies and then just it cracks me up to think of her going over your shoulder while you're playing people just <laughs> seeing those bots and being like wait well, hold on a second. First of all, this is not the culture. <laughs> like, this man is, and then just like unstoppable. Like, no, no, no. You see this? This is a good lesson on class unity. Because look, we're all working together to to kick him from the server. We're all yep. hitting F two. Yeah, they can't be stopped, dude. They can't be stopped. No, they just come right in. back in. Yeah. Bro, Have you ever had a girlfriend who fucking like hates video games, like with a passion, like fucking hates video games? Most. Mm. Most of them don't like it, but, you know, not, I, not never I like lived a hate with, thing. Yeah, I, I dated someone long term, and I live, we lived together, and I was, like, playing uh, this game called Tears of the Storm, which was, like, a Blizzard game that was, like, a ripoff of... Yeah, Blizzard it was, like, League of much. Legends, wasn't it? Yeah, and I was playing, like, uh, like high level, maybe, like, quote-unquote semi-pro, whatever, hmm. starting to do, like, tournament play, and I was playing a lot, like, probably, like, eight hours a day, and they have, like, characters from all the Blizzard games in the game. And fucking, uh, oh. I, I, eventually, my, my partner at the time snapped on me and was like, you're not fucking playing this game. Like, it's either me or the, or, or the game. And so, I, I'm a pussy. I was like, I won't play the game, whatever. And then one time, I opened up Overwatch to play, and, and they saw Tracer on the screen, which is also in, in Heroes of the Storm. And I got fucking obliterated in front of all my friends on the mic. They were like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. And I was like, uh, it's Overwatch. And they were like, that doesn't look like fucking Overwatch. <laughs> and they were, they were like, I know what that character is. <laughs> and I, I just got, and I, I was like such a bitch, dude. I, was, I had to like, be, I, like, I pulled the mic close to my mouth and I was like, guys, I, I have to get off. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I just I had, I had, to, had to surrender, dude. Guys, I, I have homework I got to do. I got I to gotta, <laughs> Yeah, bro, I got I got the white. You guys should do your homework to too. And you guys are gonna be fucking losers. When you <laughs> <go off>. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was oh, rough. Fuck you, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Sunday. that that whole time in my life was the worst. They, I would always get ridiculed because. Uh, she would claim that she didn't know who I was playing with, like my online friends. I'm like, dude, these are like just f fellas on the internet who don't <laughs> give a fuck about you, and you wouldn't like anything they're saying. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck do you want me to say? Are you sure? Like are you sure you're not talking to internet, another girl? So. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah, baby, hell yeah. yeah! I saw a, a, a thing the other day that was a meme, and it was like, what I'm doing what my girlfriend thinks I'm doing, what I'm actually doing. <laughs> and it was like this dude and he's like, he's laying in bed and it's like, what, what, you know, my girlfriend thinks I'm doing. And it's like him having sex with a girl. And then it says like, what I'm actually doing. And someone photoshopped like black Twitter feed over like, <laughs> this big group of white dudes laughing and pointing at it. And I was like, hell yeah, bro. Yep, <laughs> hell yeah. Yep. That's exactly it, man. This is exactly it. Such awesome. good energy on there, bro. Like you can relate to every damn meme. And yep. you're like, finally. Finally, you know what I mean? Someone someone get it. I've noticed I was driving around Ypsilanti a lot lately. I got my car working again. And um and maybe I'm a little sensitive to it because I've been online more, like since the protests. Whoa. This is a town of white privilege, man. <laughs> a town of white privilege. This motherfucker, I call them 
knee-jerk reaction. This isn't hate speech because I don't think he was gay. But I called him a white F word. A knee-jerk reaction. The second <laughs> he's jumped in front of me because I was going, I have the green light. I have the green light. And this asshole in like light, like, oh, I don't know. Hey, $80 sunglasses, the nicest haircut I've ever seen, like pristine Levi shorts, doing this little light foot kick on like one of those stand-up mopeds that you rent on in town. And he kicked one of those off in front of me like a duck. You know what I mean? Like kicking up dirt <laughs> as he went in front and clipped. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> my windows don't work. But it's, let me assure you, I was yelling loud enough for him to hear me. Society, society's kind of at an advantage because your windows don't work in your van. Yeah. Uh, kind of. <laughs> I mean, the podcast I was listening to at the time were a little offensive. You guys ever hear a legion of skanks? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> y'all don't want to listen yeah, to that in traffic. You ever yeah. listen to that one in traffic? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the downside of like regressing to like 2008 mindset. Mm-hmm. I mean, like I, I genuinely got upset when SpongeBob was announced as gay yesterday. <laughs> like that, I was just like, SpongeBob's walk- a faggot. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? What the fuck? They, like, they walk, they walk back on that pretty quickly. They're like, oh no, 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 he's not gay. He's just asexual. Did they do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, they walk oh, back. Thank on God, it. thank Jesus, uh, fucking he's, Christ! He, he's Unload asexual. The Unload the clip, Cody. <laughs> like, <laughs> like an actual sponge. He's asexual. I was so mad. You don't get was... dick. You don't get pussy. That's like the epitome of like modern fucking gay capitalism. Is like, and, and I was reading how they the dude Stephen whatever who created SpongeBob didn't want him to be gay. And then he died, and then they said he was gay. And it's like, what the fuck are you doing? Dude, like, he's just a huge Ween fan, yeah, it turns yeah. out. Every, like, in the first season, there's just, it's littered with he didn't want his own son to be gay. What a fucking homophobe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> it's tough. I mean, dude, I was actually mad. And it kind of put into perspective where I'm at right now with my life. I mean, <laughs> Baby, New York 2009 <clears throat> underground comedy scene. That's where you got to be, right next yeah. to Hardy. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Right next to Hardy Lang. Get cleaned up before the show. Handlers. Could you imagine boys being successful enough to have handlers? Yep. Be like, hey, man, we're going to pay you to, you know, you, you can come play a comedy store. Right? And that's like 6 p.m. and you're like, you know, you're 9 p.m. drunk. And they're like, oh, shit, he's still got to go out there. Yeah, Artie, uh, Artie had people like fucking, you know, that were on the staff to ensure that he got dope. Mm-hmm. Like their only job was to get him heroin. Well, dude, I was reading uh, Too Fat to Fish, Artie Lang's book, and he has a beautiful story about when he's working on the set of Mad TV and he had this prosthetic makeup on and uh, they had like, like, what, like an hour and a half or something like that in between like refilming. And it took like eight hours for him to get the prosthetic makeup on. And he he went to go score heroin. Now, like down the road, got involved in a whole bunch of hijinks, ended up like sweating off and tearing off all of this makeup so that he could get the straw into his nose. And then he came back and tried to piece it all back together, like thousands of dollars worth of makeup and shit. And like go back on set like nothing happened. He's all blown out from heroin. And he's like, what the fuck did you just do? And he's like, I'm ready for this. I'm ready for the scene. <laughs> like, yo, you got to get the fuck out of here. That's they awesome. Him on spot. That fucking, that, that fucking awesome. I love Artie Lang so much, man. That dude uh, was a fucking king for a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Coming back. Coming back yeah. hard, dude. I don't know if you saw the road. I hope so. But, you know, 2008, just fucking playing Team Fortress 2, watching Patrice O'Neill YouTube videos. Oh, oh my God. Old, yeah. old Opie and Anthony. Oh, yeah. Four and a half hour super cuts of Patrice. Like, yeah. no, nothing has happened since, like, 2008 that was really worth a damn. Yeah. All the best seasons of The Office, fucking, you know, I think The Office <laughs> got gay as hell around, like, 2009. Like, just 2008 is the, per- the perfect year, the best year on record. Mm-hmm. I do like the boy that resembles Chris Ruckus in The Office, and he's in the last season. But that's really the only redeeming I couldn't quality. get that far. Fuck Before that. Barack Obama, you know, became like a war criminal and shit. He was just a cool black dude that's yeah. smoked Newports. Change. Was, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Change. Obama-rama, baby. Fucking smoking noopies, man. Fucking. Before the drones, dude. He, he, got, he let those <laughs> drones. He let those drones go to his damn head. I, I kind of like drone era Obama, though. Yeah, why so, pretend? Yeah. <laughs> He's just on the server. 
That's the one yeah. thing you don't hear about Trump. You hear him about like every fucking like he eats McDonald's and gets a little bit of fucking mustard spit on his shirt. He's getting laughed at on the internet for like 18 days. You never hear what he's doing with the drones. He must not care for him. Nope. Yep. Nope. 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 He I probably has train that. autism though. He's probably trying to get fucking railroads built in the Middle East so he can send trains uh, through with rocket launchers attached to him. All the presidents have different ways, like preferred ways of killing Syrian children. You're only describing Team Fortress 2 game modes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Trump just wants to build a payload map yeah. in Syria. The <laughs> second you said it, I'm like... He's been playing payload. <laughs> Dangle's brain is on the, in, the, is in the server right now. Have like, you seen those videos that people are accusing uh, Donald Trump's kid, the youngest one, of having autism? Yeah, Baron. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man, money Baron. You can do anything with computers. I saw yeah. somebody post. That's because Trump Trump said, Trump said, Trump said, like, my son, he's, he's best at computers. He's on, <laughs> he's on the 4chan. <laughs> he's, on the, he's on the politically incorrect board. Very good stuff. <laughs> Paul, as Ladies they call it, Paul. <laughs> Donald Trump. <laughs> on the mic. He showed me this funny thing called Pepe the Frog. <laughs> very funny. Very funny. Very funny stuff. Personally, personally. <laughs> I, love, I love I love the boys 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 town boys town. What's that? What's the who they steal, who they steal Pepe from? My man. Oh, Boys Club. Uh, boys Club, that's it. That's those it. comic books were the shit. God damn! That you was got me the crazy. the master fucking copy for uh for Christmas one year, and it was in the hottest political climate. It was right when Trump got elected, and I was standing there like in line at Green Brain, and everyone was sucking their teeth at me. Alex it's, Merritt's dad was like, "Well, well, Hillary, Hillary Hill Dog, Hill Dog was like on her website saying that Pepe the Frog was like like an absolute white supremacist icon." People believe that, dude. It, it sucks. To it's this like, day. Yeah, I mean, I, I made a joke on Instagram about um, having a, a costume of Pepe sewn for my dog for Halloween. <laughs> and I got so much shit. Someone DM me and was like, do you mean the white supremacist frog? And I, and I was just like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Mm. All like, those sucks. fucking losers, dude. They do not have a folder of rare Pepes on their fucking yeah. computer. <laughs> oh, just fucking I, sad. I have a folder called Jackpot, and it's like 700 Pepe images. <laughs> <laughs> I just have to have to have it. I, I got one of the, the Archers of Loaf album cover right next to there, dude. I know yeah. I got that in the computer, bro. I got, I got one of those, too, and I went to my uh, accountant, and he hooked me up with his lawyer, and I had a will made. And uh, that's, that's the only thing I wrote in my will <laughs> is to make sure my folder with my 30,000 Pepe images go to the right person. They'll find out who gets it up, upon my death. Yeah. <laughs> so, someone needs to zip that file and transfer it. Yeah. I got a dead man switch on it, baby. <laughs> Fucking something yeah. happens to me. My Pepe folder gets uploaded to YouTube. <laughs> oh, Shane Stroud's blackmail folder comes up at the exact same moment, too. <laughs> Not the photos that Shane Stroud has of himself that would be used as blackmail for him, but the ones that he has collected against his closest friends. <laughs> And he only uses when he has like six drinks in him and it's 4.30 in the morning and the pictures <laughs> of the cats dry up. You know what I'm saying? And then he's like, I miss when my friend was dating this girl that we don't talk to anymore and then posts a picture of like me at like 4.30 in the morning and I'm like, what are you what doing? What are you doing, man? <laughs> you doing, bro? I wonder if I can like just bother my accountant with, uh, you know, dead man switch requests. Like, set up a meeting with them. Like, hey, you know, I saw this Julian Assets guy. Everyone's saying he's got a dead man switch. Like, how do I get that going? <laughs> do I set that up with you? <laughs> Who do you set up a dead man switch with? If any of the shooters listening or, like, you know, some people clued up to some WikiLeaks fucking shit, man, Q get at me. Yes, yeah, so if, if you're queued out, if you're queued the fuck up, fucking I want to get on you, and I want, I, want a, I want a dead man switch created for me. Uh, can I say something, fellas? I just want to protect. I want to protect everyone here, you and the shooters, Vinny. Both probably want to handle that through snail mail, but first trade off addresses through you know the internet, and then like, okay. like a little wink emoji. You know what I mean? Because they can't read. The, they can't read the snail mail, baby. Alexa can't uh, read I mean, snail. I don't know if you forgot, but we had like a ten minute bit on bomb threats and sh shooting up shows, so we're <laughs> fucked. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do oh, believe well. a direct quote was. 
making threats on schools is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Calling in threats is awesome, man. That's white culture, baby. <laughs> Rip, ripping a bong and then fucking calling into your job at Wendy's that hey, I have, I'm coming in there at 3 p.m. and I got a gun. <laughs> <laughs> I got bump stocks. <laughs> like, local man with boy shooting club memorabilia. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about the name of the podcast. Yeah. It all goes together, baby. We're, oh, yeah. The government's cracking down. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Jerry. You know, fellow shooter, uh, <laughs> fellow fellow friend of the pod. Uh, his little brother has a boy shooting club uh, magnet on his car, Hell yeah. and uh, and Jerry was borrowing his car for a minute, and he had a bunch of packs, empty packs of Newports in the front seat of the car, and uh, and the sticker on the back, and he <laughs> he gave his car back to his little brother. His little brother drives it to high school, and he gets pulled over by the security guard, and he's like, "Hey, man!" It's like, "What's going on with all the Newport?" packages and uh what's that board shooting club all about (laughs) oh uh you know i had to get i get himself out of a little hot water fortunately also italian get the gab sure all right you just gotta pop the guy in the car and play him the podcast yeah Yeah. oh he would have loved it he'd be like are they talking about smart guy yeah yeah (laughs) yeah. that's got that's like the one thing worse than the the guy who makes you listen to his own music when you're in the car with him like if we get in there and we're like hey no no you gotta hear the latest podcast (laughs) (laughs) oh uh you're not supposed to do that because i've been i've recently i've been seeing someone fellas and uh i don't have any windows in my minivan as we've explained I just lock the doors and like uh, I'll run through a couple episodes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Go on drives that are longer than they need to be. We yeah, went to Salem like, the other day. Salem is <laughs> twenty minutes away. I took the long route just so I could hear the full Patreon episode. Yeah. Like, babe, babe, wait, like forty minutes. The racist Yoda bit. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> just stay, stay with me here. I got you. If you thought well, where are this- you going? <laughs> <laughs> As soon as you hit a red line. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you th- if you thought the stuff about making general threats was awesome, wait till you get the alt-right Yoda. Yeah. Oh, for only $1 a month on the boy yeah. shooting. We, we got to shoot Yoda. a fucking Patreon, like old school infomercial type video. Dude. Oh, that's a good oh, ass right. idea. Fucking actually. awesome. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. I guess theoretically we could like film a commercial just using zoom. Yeah. Yeah, you just should. Yeah, all you got to do is like, all right, here, you say your lines, you say your lines, you say your lines, and then just Mm -hmm. fucking, you know, put in whatever background. There's no reason that we couldn't make like a feature film. Yeah, I'm thinking what we could do even is we could utilize these screens and maybe get some of the same items so that it can look like we're passing like here we go like whoop to the left. Vinny, are you to my left? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so you'd be like, and then you grab the drink. Yeah, like oh, oh. Oh, yeah. this is the future of art. Well, wow, I'm fucking brain dead. I tried to type in the word infomercial and I typed infomortal. Like a fucking infomortal technique. <laughs> 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 yeah, that would be a great username on an InfoWars fucking forum. <laughs> a message board. Yo, uh, we info, gotta do this. Infomortal technique. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what do we gotta do, baby? We got we gotta do the uh, infomercial. Yeah, yeah, that's a good. That's that's actually a good ass idea. Hey guys, are you sick of living in 2019? This is the future. Although I have it backwards, but it's fun. Go be like, come on down, come on down to the boys shooting club. We'll bring you back to 2008. Yep. You know what I mean? Right before Tropic Thunder. Right before Tropic Thunder hit at the box office. It's a good. In a world where you could save retard. Every every fucking every fucking movie. I just watched like Observe and Report, a vi- like the funniest, the only funny <laughs> Seth Rogen movie. Unless like you are a brain dead retard, and you know oh, that's me. That's Pineapple me. Express <laughs> is funny yeah, to you, yeah. but Observe and Report was actually funny. And the big <laughs> one of the biggest laughs in the movie is when he gets called a faggot retard. <laughs> <laughs> by, Ray Liotta. Yeah, by Ray Liotta. Yeah, by Ray Liotta. And you, it's just fucking. I remember seeing that in theaters. Like I was so stoned that it, before before we went in the fucking movie that like you know when the previews were playing and the previews were done, I got up to leave. I was like, all right. And I watched the, the the movie. Went, you know, it was one of the funniest fucking movies I I had seen. Uh, you know, 
just any anybody like clowning on mentally ill people it's just oh yeah joe jody jody hill is that who makes it yeah he's incredible at that bro have you seen uh the movie before um oh my god what's the movie called with danny mcbride before uh oh the karate one yeah yeah uh i can't think of the name offhand but yeah that movie's pretty good too oh damn it what a bit i was was it's the the eastbound and down precursor yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of similar jokes in there too. Yeah, like I got see them from the. Pilot. Yeah, they definitely fucking reach back into that bag for he's bound and down. Yeah, foot, foot, foot fist way. Foot fist way. Shooters, do yourself a solid. Go watch Clifford. Go watch foot foot fist way. Oh shit, we mentioned Clifford before the pod was recording. Yeah, never mind. Well, whatever. What are you gonna do? Damn. Oh my god, there's so many good ideas you could do with an infomercial. <laughs> Jesus. Tell me, Cody. Tell me. Come on, hit me, boys. This uh, Vinny is the one with the uh, Photoshop power. I can't. Oh yeah, yeah. I I I can put together some infomercial screens yeah. and you know, all we can do it all on Zoom. Yeah. Cuz uh, cuz we can set it uh I got I I'm not going to walk through on the pod. I don't want people to learn our techniques or anything, yeah, you know. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't show Pee Wee Herman dusting off the talking chair. Never happens. Yeah, no, no. You've never seen like the Muppets being operated with the hands inside of them for a fucking reason. Oh, probably have a probably have PTSD from it. Oh, yeah. Dude. Station. If you saw the guy coming out of the Big Bird costume, you'd be fucking worse than getting a brain tumor. Oh my god, <laughs> dude. Yeah, a fate worse than death, literally. Seeing what Big Bird looks like. It was already oh, fucked up that they brought Big Bird really out cool. for Jim Henson's uh, f- fucking funeral. Big yeah. Bird should not be in the same room as a human in a coffin. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just That'd saying. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, for Oscar. They needed to fucking like put the Muppet guys in check, letting the Muppets run crazy in that funeral. That was <laughs> that was no good. I don't care what kind of tribute you're trying to to give to the puppet man. <laughs> The puppet master, the real puppet master, Jim Henson. You think that Jim Henson might have seen some shit and that's why he killed himself? Is because he knows that David Bowie was a sexual predator and also everybody at Miramax I thought, Studios? I thought he only died because he didn't fucking cut the filters off his cigarettes. <gasps> that's what I heard. Well, damn, you, hold on a second, fellas. Oh, yeah. Damn, Yo, there you go. Now, now, you're ready, now you're ready to Let's smoke, go. baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> now you're ready Let's to go. smoke. You're going to be a trachea boy. <laughs> <laughs> no time. <laughs> if I have anything to say about it. Yeah. You know, you know, you know. Yeah, well, uh, 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 trachea boys is a good name for a crew. Yeah. Trachea boys is an incredible band name. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That Please don't steal that, name. Shooters. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Beep, 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 beep. That's for us uh, rewinding the tape. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so Trachea well, Boys would be a really good, a really good name for a gang, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. I had a homie growing up. His mama had a stoma, and she's a, one of the most badass women I've ever met in my entire life. I don't know if it was a stoma necessarily that's helping the case, but um, could be. Bro, I would have been raised a lily white f word if it wasn't for john sport's <laughs> mom putting me into place you know what i mean she said she'd say things like straighten your posture stop being a faggot i'm like whoa <laughs> okay, okay 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 real life lessons <laughs> there yeah, yeah. she was not homophobic in the least she's like she's one of the most accepting human beings of like all cultures races sexualities anything it was like she uses it like a gamer you yeah. know what i mean yeah she's a big she, louis ck fan she yeah, loves she that uses, bit about being a fag. She uses a lot of gamer language, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah she's yeah. she's a fan of the pod. Oh, she might be. Yeah. Boys she Shooting Club be. Podcast, a walk down memory lane. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you're ready for the infomercial, baby. Yeah. You gotta get your voiceover skills with Vinny's show yeah. photoshopping. Yeah, well, we'll get in the group chat. We'll really we'll really flat hammer some shit out, flesh some shit yeah. out. I'm gonna start chain smoking to get ready for the writer's room. Do you and your group of friends secretly watch Sam Hyde videos? Well, I've got the right thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, about, uh, I'm, I'm about to bring my laptop my, like, and all my computers. I'm bringing all my computers up north to the lake tomorrow so that way I can set up on the beach, start really fucking workshopping <laughs> ideas for the infomercial. <laughs> oh, man. I use pad and pencil. <laughs> Keep it old school. Real Renaissance, sand, man. Yeah. <laughs> Heat the sand. 
I, this is like bitch about industrialization while you have like your laptop out, your phone out, and <laughs> like you know, yeah. your iPod Touch, I guess. I was trying to think of another yeah. thing with a screen, but. Meanwhile, Joey's driving through traffic in Ypsilanti, just like with one of those tape recorders. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like fucking faggot, <laughs> talking into a talk boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh damn, dude! I wish I had one on me right now. I think it's this guy on his place. faggy little fucking scooter. Get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> And then June Chase has the to tell me I have road rage. You know June 15th, it's a Sunday. It is 3.26 in the afternoon. This kid is a fucking faggot. <laughs> I, ho- I hope he gets hurt on his little scooter. I hope he trips and falls. <laughs> Go, yeah, 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 More later. Like, I'll see you on the side of the guardrail, you fucking retard. As soon as they speed around me, it's the very first thing that comes to mind. Like, yeah, I'll see you wrapped around the fucking guardrail. Uh, oh, one time I said that to myself, never out loud, um, in company. There, I wasn't in company. Or I was in company. I never say it in company. And I, I saw it going down, and I was like, damn. Damn shame what's going to happen a couple miles down the road. Sure as shit, dude. I'm pulling off on the exit 696 to get on the other freeway. That car and five others are thrown about on every side of the entrance ramp from the freeway. And his is just smashed to hell and hitting the wall from the side. And I was like, damn. Oh, my God. I'm, I've got the final destination powers. Yeah. I have to stop wishing ill will on people. Oh, shit. Uh, we we gotta wrap this up. I got it's eight thirty. I gotta go over to the grocery store buy oh, some shit. buy some supplies for camping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh hell yeah, baby! Okay. Fucking shooters! Thank you for listening. Be sure to check out the Patreon, Patreon.com/slash Boys Shooting Club. One free extra episode a week for one dollar a month. But if you want to join the elite shooter tiers, five dollar, ten dollar. $15, $25 fucking, you know, you get a more bonus content. You get a fucking extra fucking pod smack episode uh, every week. Fucking, uh, and you, there's some other yeah. shit. You'll see it all We're, on the infomercial. You'll, yeah, yeah, it'll be, yeah, yeah. Just wait for the infomercial. And we got t-shirts in the works. Fucking, so, you know, we got some shit coming. Some fucking oh, yeah, hot yeah, yeah. You know what Steve-O's daddy told him to do? Under promise, over deliver. We ain't giving you shit, motherfuckers. Boom. We ain't giving you dog shit. Hell Enjoy no. your free episode. That's that's <laughs> how I present sexually. So you know, that's how it works. And uh, you know, hit us up. We'll get you a link to the Discord server. You can fucking uh, join us on a Team Fortress Two server where we're gonna build a new society based fully in two thousand eight. Yeah, what are you thinking about? <laughs> seven bucks. About seven bucks to get into the Discord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, wait, is that the Patreon money? And you're like, no, no, <laughs> no, this is separate. separate. <laughs> if you want into our world, you got to really take a step I, in. I'm already doing the $25 tier. Like, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, t-shirt, then shut up. I don't make the rules. <laughs> t-shirt, shut the hell up. That's going to be nice, man. We can give people like full-on trinkets like crows. You know what I'm yeah. saying? We're just bringing them full-blown lockets from, uh, yeah. from across the sea. Owl pellets. You know. Well, yeah. All right. I don't know. I'd probably sign up to somebody's Patreon if they sent me an owl pellet, like a little fucking dirt and hairball you can fucking pull <laughs> rat skulls out of and shit. That would be pretty fun. I mean, not to rehash. If anybody got here, a but, hookup. Uh, what's, what's Larry Clark doing? You know what I'm saying? What's Larry Clark's <laughs> Patreon looking like? <laughs> an artist, dude. He's not a pedophile. He's an artist. Yeah. <laughs> said it once. I'll say it a thousand times. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right. So yeah, the only thing I want to plug is the fucking Discord and the TF2 server. Mm-hmm, uh, that's mm-hmm. it. You guys got anything you want to plug? Uh, no. TF2 server. TF2, <laughs> I would, yeah. TF2 server. No, no. TF2 server, baby. Nothing at all. I'm Zero not... moderation. Nope. <laughs> come while out. With Except for boys. spam bots. Yeah. If you also, come in sp- spam body, we well we got to vote them out as a society. Yeah. You know, if more people want the racist spam bot in. Then what are you going to do? What can you gotta, do? We got to live amongst it. It's a democratic society. <laughs> <laughs> do you think we could go to the, do you think we could go to the protest <laughs> with a sign <laughs> against the spam bots? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> people, people know what's up. Maybe people we got to end up. racism with these spam bots and, and the TF2 public servers. <laughs> I'm autistic about that, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not autistic about that at all. All right, all right, uh, y'all. Yeah, shooters, thank you so much, y'all. See you next Peace. week. Bye.